lawn was the home of the fairies, and it certainly has its own magical, mystical quality. An early Christian monastic stone cell brings back the Gaelic past. The last purebred herd of Irish red deer now survives on the Killarney Mountains. They are the direct linear descendants of the deer we read about in the prehistoric Irish sagas, which were hunted by the legendary hero Finn McCool and his warriors. Because they were under threat some years ago, I brought a small nucleus out here where the pure strain would be kept intact. When the storm sweeps in from the Atlantic and the sea rages with awesome power, one feels very close to the center of creation. This island has another special association. When our children were growing up, I spent more time with them here than anywhere else. The island was part of their youth. Even now, as they go their separate ways, Emer breeding her horses, Connor a mining engineer, Kieran flying helicopters, and Sean going into politics, my wife Maureen and I can get together with them here as a family more often than in our home in Dublin. Oh, it's the day before, but then you see the Kerry people are coming up for them. Look at, look at the dilemma I'm in. Oh, it's Look at the dilemma I'm in, for instance. Of the four teams now, in a, there's three of them are Kerry, Dublin, and Mayo. Oh, now, where do you come from? Well, now, I'm born in Mayo. Meal. I was born in Mayo, I live in Dublin, and I have a holiday in Kerry. Mm. Would so the real Charles Hoy please stand up? <laughs> See, when it rains, worms come up. The, the patter of the rain on the ground brings up worms. So the seagull waits for the rain, and then he goes out and eats the worms. But if there's no rain... If there's no rain... He, he stimulates rain by doing it. We believe you. We believe you. I would tell Dan Brick and Joey and Cameron this, and they said, never let anybody eat it. I agree with Dan. The diversified wildlife of the island never ceases to absorb and enthrall. There is a richness of rare plants, lichens, and wild flowers. We have nearly every type of seabird, including one of the largest colonies of storm petrels in the world. In the last century, before they disappeared from Ireland, eagles nested here, and it is our intention to bring them back again. My favourite annual duties is to start the Corach races at the Dingle Regatta, which takes place in August every year. This is an occasion which is totally different from any other. Its origins are lost in the mists of seafaring antiquity. I love it all and feel an integral part of it. The wild solitude of the island provides a great intellectual and spiritual respite. But mingling here in Dingle with this vibrant festive regatta crowd fulfills a different social need. The Kerry people, being intensely practical, know the importance of enjoying themselves, and they devote themselves to doing so when the occasion arises, as it very often does here in this unique part of the Western world. advertised starting times of the various races are not always rigidly adhered to. Look 
put on a lovely uh, photograph of you outside the party saying you pup. That's right. Yourself from yeah. party walking around doing it all big. It's a lovely photo. But he only told me about it. He said he had to put seven pints into you before he could get you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a few pints on before I went on the beach. <laughs> Kerry is perhaps the greatest football county in all of Ireland. When we adjourned to the pub, after the great sporting and social events have ended, the conversation will be brilliant and wide-ranging, but will sooner or later turn inevitably to football. Dublin, beat them, and if we beat, beat you. No battle of that one. Well, I bottle of whiskey flew at him. I jumped a little landed on the bed. The whiskey scatters over Tim. Oh, Danny Levive and see how he rises. Tim Finnegan rising in the bed. Saying plenty of whiskey around like blazes. See the thunder and jays, do you think I the game is Gaelic football, and the occasion is an All-Ireland semi-final between Mayo and Dublin. My Ireland would not be complete without Coe Park. I come here for most of the big games. I have played here myself. An All-Ireland final and a Fianna Fáil Ardesh, that is, the annual conference of my party, are very alike in that they are great gatherings to which people come from all over Ireland, truly Irish, as the Wembley Cup final is truly English, because they just could not take place anywhere else. Irish people love horses, they love the races. It is very much part of their heritage and their ethos. Irish racing is friendly and informal. Well, suppose the would ask you what's going to win. You wouldn't have any idea. I honestly wouldn't. Michael there would know it. You'd know, you'd know more. Dr. Vincent O'Brien is simply a genius. He has given Irish horses and racing an international status. But perhaps even more important, he has shown his fellow countrymen that to strive for perfection and to attain excellence is what matters. I enjoy the colour, the gossip and the animation of a day at the races and occasionally to see my black and blue colours go past the winning post. But my main interest is in breeding. We have in Ireland the natural assets and I brought in taxation arrangements which succeeded in making us one of the great thoroughbred breeding countries of the world. We have also the skill and the enthusiasm of a great many people, but we must keep moving forward with changing circumstances and developments in breeding and genetics. <laughs> well, if they do, I'll come into it for you. Yeah, yeah. Right. would you? You can stand here. Have you any of those dollar bills? I do. Uh, I hate uh, bribing an ex-bribe. I want to tell you. I want to tell you. Spend it wisely. <laughs> I will. 